Hello everyone, today we're going to discuss rational numbers, fractions, and decimals. So our objective is to express rational numbers from fraction form to decimal form. So when we say rational number, this is a number that can be written as x over y, where x and then y are integers and then y is not equal to 0. So let us have an example of rational numbers. We have negative 2, so this can be written as negative 2 over 1. Another example of rational number is we have 6 because it can be written as 6 over 1. And then we also have 0 and 25 hundreds, so it can be written as 25 over 100 and also if we have 0 and 333 thousands or 0 0.333 and so on and so forth so this can be this can be written as 1 over 3 so it also includes decimals that can be either be terminating such as 0 and 24 hundreds. So, because you can write it as 24 over 100. Okay. We also have 0 and 4 tenths, which can be written as 2 over 5. 0 and 24 hundreds, 0 and 4 tenths, are what we call terminating decimals. Now, when we say terminating decimal, this is a decimal which can be expressed in a finite number of figures after the decimal point. So... Decimals, which can be expressed in a finite number of figures. after the decimal point. Fractions can be expressed the decimals. How? By dividing the numerator by the denominator. So, for example, change to decimal form. Let's say we have um, number 1, 3 over 8. Okay, so what are you going to do is you divide, we have 3 divided by 8. So, now since the 3 cannot be divided by 8, so you will add decimal point here, then 0. So, after adding the decimal point here, you must add another point here to the quotient. So, we have 30 divided by 8, so that is 3, you have to put here 3, then you multiply 3 times 8, so we have 24. Then you subtract, we have 30 minus 24, that is 6, okay? Then 6 cannot be divided, 6 cannot be divided by 8. So, you add again 0 here, then you bring down 0. Now, 60 divided by 8, so we have 7. Now, 7 times 8, so that is 56. Then again, you subtract. So, 60 minus 56, we have 4. Then, 4 cannot be divided by 8 again. So, you add 0 and then bring down here the 0. 
then 4t divided by 8 so we have 5 then you have to write here 5 now 5 times 8 we have 40 so 40 minus 40 we have 0 so the decimal form of 3 over 8 is 0 and 375 thousands. Okay? 0 and 375 thousands with DHS because this is a decimal number is a terminating decimal. This is a terminating decimal. Because of its finite number of figures after the decimal point. Okay? Now, let us have number 2 example. Let's say we have 5 over 11. Now, again, same procedure. We're going to divide. Okay? So, we have 5 divided by 11. So, 5 cannot be divided by 11, so you have to put here 0, decimal point first, then you have to write 0. Now, 50 divided by 11, so that is 4. Now, 4 times 11, so we have 44. Then, you subtract 50 minus 44, that is 6. Now, 6 cannot be divided by 11. So, you add 0 here, then bring down 0. Now, 60 divided by 11, so we have 5. Then multiply 5 times 11, we have 55. You write it here under 60. Then subtract. We have 60 minus 55, we have 5. Then again, you add 0, then bring down 0. Now, 50 divided by 11, so we have 4. Then, multiply again 4 times 11, we have 44. Then, subtract, we have 6. Then, again, you write 0, bring down 0 here. Then, we have 60 times divided by 11, this one. 60 divided by 11, so we have 5. Then, 5 times 11, we have 55. Then, you subtract. So, we have 4. As you can see, the digits from 4 to 5 is repeating indefinitely. So, 5 over 11 is equal to 0 and 4,545 ten thousands. Or, okay, 0 and 45 hundreds so since that the pattern from digits 4 to 5 is repeating so we place a bar okay to those digits that are repeated or sometimes that above the first and then the last digits of the repeating pattern so we call this as repeating decimal Because the digits are repeated indefinitely. You have to recall also on how to read the decimal numbers. So, in our example, we have 0 and 4,545 ten thousands. So, place value here. So, 4 is tenths. Okay. 5 is hundreds. And 4 is thousands. And then 5 is ten thousands. Let's now proceed. Now express the following fractions to decimal form. So we have letter A, 32 over 100. Letter B, we have 7 over 10. Letter C, we have 25 over 1,000. So, as you can see, um, the denominators are multiples of 10 or powers of 10. So, for letter A, we have 32 over 100. So, what are you going to do? 
is you take the numerator 32 then since that the decimal point is here right so you have to move two two places you have to move the decimal point two places to the left since that there are two zeros in the denominator so we have one two so 32 over 100 is equal to 0 and 32 hundreds okay next for letter b we have 7 over 10 again let us take the numerator which is 7 here is the decimal point after the number then since that there is only one zero in the denominator you have to move one place to the left so this is equal to zero and seven tenths okay now next is 25 over 1000 so what are you going to do is again we have to take 25 the decimal point is here there are three zeros in the denominator so we have to move three unit at uh, three places to the left we have one two three so we add here zero then here is the decimal point so 25 over 1000 is zero and 25,000 zero and 25,000 express the following rational numbers from fraction form 2 decimal form so for letter a we have 6 over 100 so as you can see the denominator is 100 so what are you going to do is you will just take the numerator we have 6 then the decimal point is here the denominator has two zeros therefore you have to move two places to the left we have one two put zero here then Here is the decimal point. So we have 6 over 100 is equal to 0 and 6 hundredths. Next for letter B, we have 3 and 1 fifth. So since that there is a whole number 3, you have to write here 3. Then 1 over 5, you rewrite it into decimal form. So we have to divide 1 divided by 5. So, 1 cannot be divided by 5. So, you add decimal point here and also to the quotient. Then, you add 0. Now, 10 divided by 5. So, that is 2. You have to write here 2. Then, multiply 2 times 5. So, we have 10. Then, subtract. So, that is 0, right? Now, the decimal number here is... 0 and 2 tenths so you have to write here 0 and 2 tenths so the decimal point of decimal form of 3 and 1 fifth is 3 and 2 tenths okay next how about 4 over 9 now let us again divide we have 4 divided by 9 so 4 cannot be divided by 9 so you add decimal point here also to the quotient then add 0 so 40 divided by 9 that is 4 then multiply 4 times 9 we have 36 then you subtract we have 4 then again 4 cannot be divided by 9 so you add 0 again bring down 0 40 divided by 9 so that is 4 then 4 times 9 we have 36 so Subtract 40 minus 36, we have 4. Then again, add 0, bring down 0, divide 40 divided by 9. So we have 4, then 4 times 9, we have 36. Then again, subtract 40 minus 36, we have 4. As you can see, this is a repeating decimal since that form is, 4 is repeated indefinitely. So you have to place a bar above 4. So, 4 over 9 is equal to 0 0.4. So, 0 0.4. Okay. Next number, letter D. We have 8 over 11. Again, let us divide. We have 8 divided by 11. 
So, 8 cannot be divided by 11. So, add 0. Then, 80 divided by 11, we have 7. Then, 7 times 11, we have 77. Then, subtract, we have 3. Add 0. Bring down 0. So, we have 30 divided by 11. So, we have 2. Then, 2 times 11, we have 22. Then, subtract, we have 8. Then, add 0. Bring down 0. Then, divide. 80 divided by 11. So, that is 7. Then, 7 times 11, we have 77. Again, subtract. 80 minus 77, we have 3. Then, add 0. Then, bring down 0. Then, divide again. 30 divided by 11. So, we have 2. 2 times 11, we have 22. Then, subtract. We have 30 minus 22. So, we have here 8. So, as you can see, this is again a repeating decimal. So, since that it repeats only from 7 to 2, so this is equal to 0 0.72. Okay. Next, for letter E. For letter E, we have 4 and 5 over 7. So, 4 and 5 over 7 is equal to the whole number 4 point. 5 over 7 is equal to um, 0 and 185 thousands. But then it is a repeating decimal. So we have 4 and 185 thousands. But then it is a repeating decimal. So you have to place a bar above from 1 to 5. So, that's all for today. You know now how to express rational numbers from fraction form to decimal form. So, don't forget to like and then share it with your classmates. Thank you!